Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we decided to take the hottest day of the year and the muggiest day of the year to install some Laminex paint protection film on my Ram Rebel. So in this video, we are gonna be installing Laminex's door cut protection kit on my truck. It's a custom cut paint protection film that fits inside of the door cup pocket. So inside this little indent here behind the actual door handle, there's paint protection film that they cut that you basically just hit here right behind there. That way, when, we'll pretend like this is my wife's hand, when Wolverine here goes to open up the door and for whatever reason she feels the need to scratch the door cup pocket, which she does a lot, um, you have paint protection film there to protect it. So let's take a look at the kit. So the kit is D1533 and I'll leave a link to this in the description below and like all my Laminex videos, don't forget to use the 20% coupon code that I have. Again, it's a referral link down in the, the video description. If you purchase through that, you'll get your Laminex products for 20% off. So back to the kit, door cut protection kit. I already installed this on Palisade, so somewhat of a subject matter expert because I've already done four of these. But basically what you get are four custom cut door cut paint protection film. And basically it's really hard to see, but you got a concave cut on this side, concave cut on this side. One side is shorter. The other side is longer and the reason that is is because one side of your door cut pocket is shorter the other side is longer so let's just assume that this is the shorter side this is the longer side all you do is remove it from the backing slip it down into the door cup like that and then you install it so let's talk about that installation super simple you have three options for installing the stuff one you could dry install so no fluid no application fluid just basically hope to god that you get it where you needed it to you could pull this stuff up it's somewhat forgiving but for the most part dry is a little bit risky especially when you're working inside kind of a concave section where you don't have direct access to the second option you have is in the kit they give you a little spray or a little pen spray bottle and you could fill this with a little bit of dish detergent and some warm water and you could use that as your application fluid just basically spray it in there or if you're lazy like me do some wrap attack wrap attack again could be used to clean this the area that you're installing the vinyl or paint protection film or it could be used as an actual application fluid basically spray it on there just like with the soap and water it gives you the ability to slide everything around then over time the, the fluid underneath the film evaporates super easy to work with i like using this stuff because it takes the mystery out of making sure you got the right concoction in here so as far as the steps how do you install it first thing you want to do is make sure that part of your truck is clean it's about the rain, so I spot clean this general area. Make sure you clean above it because when you're spraying that wrap attack or whatever application fluid you want, you're gonna be coming in with that film from the top and you don't wanna hit dirt up here and bring that down in with you. So make sure everything's clean there. Then take some isopropyl, so my famous 70% isopropyl alcohol, put it on a paper towel and then make sure everything's completely sanitized and wiped down in there. You don't want no COVID pockets there. Then after the isopropyl dried, it is time to install the paint protection film. Now, word of warning, when you do something that needs to be repeated four times, start on the door that you touch the least. So in this application, I'm gonna start on the back passenger door. That way I can refine my technique. Then from that back passenger door, I'm gonna go over to the passenger door. Then I'll go ultimately go to this door and then I'll finish up on the driver's side. The reason being is if you mess up that door, you're not seeing it every day when you get in the truck. And by the time you get to this fourth door here, you're gonna be an expert at installing this stuff and it'll look really good. And that's the one you see every day and you don't wanna open up your door or see a crappy job and be like, oh, that blows. So start on the door you touch the least and then work your way to the door you touch the most. That way, by the time you get to that door, you're a pro at installing this stuff. So after we isopropyl everything down, let it dry, we're gonna blast it with some wrap attack. Then we're gonna pull the film off of the backing. And again, we wanna make sure the shorter end goes towards the front of the vehicle and then the larger end, the larger concave cut goes towards the tail end. And then I'll probably hit that film with a little bit of wrap attack while I'm installing it just to make it a lot easier to install it since there are some curves in here. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the film in like this and then we're gonna start at the top and just basically use our finger to slowly work that fluid down. And as we do that, we'll make sure that everything's positioned. Really what you wanna do is make sure that that film is positioned right after this little uh, uh, bend in the metal. That way it'll seat down nicely on everything. So when I did this on the Palisade, ultimately by the fourth door, I realized that you basically just slide the film in and then start at the top and just slowly work your way down. 
once you get that guy in place and you use your thumb to get most of the film out or most of the fluid out, then you're gonna go ahead and take a microfiber towel and work on getting the rest out. And if you need to, you can blast it with a heat gun, but if not, uh, the microfiber will work perfectly fine. All right, so like I said, the best way to start this is to make sure everything's nice and clean. So take it through a car wash, do whatever you need to do to make sure that the area around the door handles are super clean. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe everything down with some isopropyl alcohol. So put it on a paper towel. Then we're gonna wipe, again, make sure you wipe up, up above the handle because when you spray that application fluid, if you are using a wet method, it's gonna have a tendency to drip down that way and you don't want it to bring dirt with you, especially in a white vehicle because if you put paint protection film on a white vehicle, you are gonna see every ounce of dirt. I learned that with the hood protector that I did from Laminex that I got a little bit of dirt in there from a towel, not the end of the world but um, white vehicles will show everything. We're gonna let that dry off. Then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and figure out how we wanna orient the paint protection film. And like I said, on the rams, you're gonna have a shorter side of the concave cut, and then you're gonna have a larger side. That larger side is gonna go towards the back, shorter side is gonna go towards the front. We're gonna start by flattening it down or moving the fluid out from up above, and then work our way down the handle so all the fluid goes down. That's dry, we're gonna give our wife a little high five here and get rocking and rolling. So we're gonna take our rapid tack here and just do three sprays. And then again, make sure you have it oriented the right way. We're gonna slowly pull that off there. This stuff is super forgiving, but the way I do this is I just drop it in from above and then get a little rapid tack on there. Make sure it's centered in the door cup holder. Not the best of light here. And then you basically want the door cup protector to stop right after that seam there. So we're gonna let that go and just basically use our finger to start moving that fluid. You gotta be really gentle at first when you start moving that fluid out because that film will wanna move because the application fluid is gonna do what you wanted it to do. But then as you start to get all that fluid out of there, that adhesive is gonna start to take to the body itself and you'll be in good shape. So we'll grab our microfiber here and again just slowly work all the fluid out of there so right now the top is adhered but the bottom not so much and then sneak inside here and start to move that fluid out and once you do that it starts to take to the concave or everything you want to move that fluid down on this guy so be really careful when you're reaching up in here too so you don't snag the bottom of the film but now we could start to get a little bit more or a little use a little bit harder of pressure Get the rest of that fluid out of there. And we are done. Wipe the rest of that fluid off. And that's it. Now we have a happy door cup protector for our wife's hands. So when she goes in and scratches it, one thing I typically advise is let this dry overnight or 24 hours before you do anything crazy, like taking it through a car washer or anything. You wanna make sure all that fluid's out of there. Um, and one thing you could do is hit it with some heat or just over time that stuff's gonna evaporate. But um, Again, microfiber is your best friend on this one. You don't need a squeegee or anything like that. Use the microfiber to get that fluid out of there. And then you're good to go. So that is how you install the Laminex door cup protectors. And again, this process is the exact same process I use on the, la on the Palisade. So I would bet that this step-by-step -step process is the same process you're going to use pretty much on any vehicle that you want to install this on. So clean it, isopropyl alcohol. Blast it with some uh, application fluid or rap attack in my case. Go ahead and apply the window film, or I'm sorry, the paint protection film. Then use a microfiber to slowly move that fluid out of there. And once you're done, let everything dry overnight and you're good to go. All right, so we are done. So the Laminex door cup paint protection film is installed on a white truck. You barely see it. I mean, you gotta be looking super close. You can kind of see the seam there, but far away or even this close, you don't see it at all. But again, this was Laminex's Door Cup Protection Kit D1533. I'll leave a link to this guy in the description below. But don't forget, remember I have a 20% coupon code for all Laminex products. Use that, it's foolish to be spending full price on anything these days. COVID has hit a lot of people and it's still hitting a lot of people. And if you could save a dime or two on something with a coupon code, by all means use it. But door paint protection film is on. My wife's hand is super happy because now when she goes to scratch my door to make me mad, she is blocked because Laminex is there to, to basically wife proof my truck. People ask me why I use Laminex so much. It's because it's super forgiving. You can install it 
wet application, you can saw a dry application, you could hit it with a heat gun. It's very forgiving film. And even a novice rapper or a novice person who's never used film ever in their life can look like a pro by using this stuff. So again, I cannot recommend Laminex stuff more, but again, this is how you install the door door paint or door cup protection kit on the Ram truck, but the process will apply to pretty much any application they make this custom cut kit for. Wash your truck, isopropyl, wrap attack, apply the film, wipe dry with a microfiber, and you are done. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Bye.